So this is a video idea that was suggested by one of our subscribers, Thomas, during a live stream. I thought it was a good idea because it's a question that some of us may have thought about. Who is the most powerful droid in Star Wars? And although we may not know exactly for sure 100%, this is a little list that I found somebody wrote on the website cbr.com and I wanted to go through it and just see if you agree with this list or not and let me know in the comments um, what you think if this list is right or wrong and we're going to start by what by looking at the weakest to the strongest the top 10 uh, droids from weakest to strongest so let's start with number 10 number 10 we have R2D2 now you may not think um, R2-D2 is much of a combat droid, which he's really not designed to be, but he has shown some insane uh, abilities. And as this article brings out in the prequels, R2-D2 actually really got to show off his abilities by destroying a couple B-2 battle droids, which is kind of insane. Um, and some suggest that he might be force sensitive, but that's a whole nother topic, whether droids can be force sensitive or not. Uh, there's different uh, opinions on that. But even though I think that's what makes R2-D2 so powerful is that he is not a combat droid, yet he can do some amazing things and has shown to be able to take out some powerful enemies. So the next one on our list, BB-8. Um, well, BB-8, he does have that little shocking device, so we have seen him do that. I don't know why BB-8 would be above the list than above R2-D2. I think R2-D2 is more powerful, so I already disagree with that one. But BB-8, again, also has shown some abilities. Um, but, uh, yeah, and also it comes from the sequel trilogy, so... The next one on the list, L337, this was from the Lando movie, and there's a lot of people that haven't seen this movie, um, and it's it's alright, I guess, but the robot is pretty cool, the design's interesting. This uh, droid would have more fighting ability because it has a humanoid stature with arms and legs, so automatically you have an advantage over a droid on a ball or a droid like R2-D2, but yeah, so L337 also is capable of using blasters, so that's not bad. But this next pick, this probably should be higher on the list, but IG-88, a bounty hunter droid, a droid designed to take out its targets, hunt down people, and um, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, um, pause the, or skip the video a few seconds, I'm going to give you a warning now, but basically we see him in The Mandalorian kick some tail and just destroy people. Actually, I don't know if it's IG-88, I don't remember if it's him or just the same type of droid, but these kind of droids, whether it's IG-88 or another droid, all these types of um, bounty hunter droids are designed with really intense programming and a high level of skill when it comes to eliminating targets. Very powerful indeed. The next one comes from um, some of the outside sources or uh, some of the extra content in Star Wars, but BT-1 is basically kind of like R2-D2, right? You can see it right here. Um, like an astromech droid, but look at all the weapons on it. You have chain guns and missiles and everything. It almost looks like a Terminator droid of some sort. So obviously if you put any kind of droid with a bunch of uh, weapons on it, it's going to do a good job. But this droid looks pretty awesome. You know, it's a, and, and it's something that R2-D2 could be modified with. That would be cool to see and maybe a, a comic or a movie where they add on a, a, a new weapon system for R2-D2 because R2 could easily have these modifications as well. But BT-1, so that's a good choice. 
I can see where this droid would cause some trouble. Um, droid 000, what this looks like is basically um, C-3PO, Edward scissor hands mixture. And so there's a lot of pointy objects and things like that. So, um, and, and I guess this droid worked for a Darth Vader in the comics. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty dangerous. Although you could argue that somebody with a few pokey objects compared to IG-88 or even BT-1, you could say they have more range and more capability than somebody with just Edward Scissorhands. So again, I can tell I kind of disagree with a lot of the placements on this list. And I apologize if uh, it's not in the right order or it's not mentioned everything. But that's why I want to hear what you think in the comments. There is one pick you'll see at the end that I do agree with. Another one is K2S0. Uh, this droid in Rogue One was pretty cool. It's an Imperial droid. Um, and this guy was, was pretty strong. Because again, it has a humanoid form, has arms and legs, but it's much taller and has much more strength than your average human. So this guy could take out probably about five stormtroopers at a time if he wanted. So pretty useful droid. They were used a lot in the Galactic Empire. Number three, Droidicas. This is a pretty good choice because... We've seen how deadly these things can be, even against Jedi. They can take out Jedi. They can take out so many different opponents. And the bubble shield makes it almost impossible to defeat unless you have a very powerful laser or if you walk up behind it with a lightsaber. But either way, these have been trouble for the Jedi for years. And I agree with this placement. They are very difficult. The Magna Guards, another good choice. What's unique about them is they had the capability to block lightsaber strikes with their special electric um, staff. So it was a great droid for protection for the elite members of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. And so General Grievous usually had these guys as his main homeboys. They used to hang out, go to the bar and stuff. And But yeah, these guys are strong. And we know that any Star Wars fan is familiar with how deadly these things are. Now this is the one I agree with most. HK-47, a, um, a droid just... Uh, Created by Darth Revan himself, a very powerful, powerful Jedi and Sith. But HK-47 was specifically designed to kill Jedi, and in fact killed many, many Jedi, which is pretty awesome. And he's a great character. He has a funny personality. Um, but yeah, just overall a fan favorite. And we could probably agree, even though we don't know for sure, that HK-47 is at least one of the strongest droids, if not the strongest that we know of. But again, you might know of other droids. Let me know in the comments. But hopefully this kind of is just a fun topic you can think about and talk about with your friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day.